In the beef industry, we have a code of practice that helps us as producers look at the different areas of our operation and uh, animal care within those and make sure that we're holding up a standard for our industry. What animal husbandry really means and working with cattle producers, you understand that from the get-go and you really, the deeper you get into it, you understand the care and commitment they have, not only as stewards of the land, which is so important, but really the stewards uh, of the animals that they raise and understanding for uh, cow-calf producers that they often have uh, mother cows that are there for years and years and years and they know their names, they know their temperaments uh, and so that's been just an amazing opportunity to learn that. My father was a, a very strong advocate to, to treat your animals as, as you'd like to be treated yourself. At our farm cow comfort is really everything. Our motto for our island certified beef is happy, healthy and humane. Um, so that's what we try to do at our farm here. We provide the cattle with uh, lots of bedding, lots of shelter, try to keep them dry, take care of them the best we can. And the happier they are, the more they're going to produce and the better they're going to take care of their calves. Cattle graze all day long, every day, all summer. And in the winter time, we're feeding them, whether it's 30 below or whatever, you feed them every day and, and make sure they have fresh bedding and, and they're well looked after. I mean, it's an understanding between a rancher that your animals and your cattle come before you on a daily basis. When you wake up, you go and attend to them and, and then carry on. Here are cattle herds on a complete herd health program, and we vaccinate them every fall when we preg test. And then the calves, they get their shots at branding time and weaning as well. We know they've had a good life on the farms. We've been to the farms, we see the farms. We make sure they're comfortable when they come in. We treat our animals very well. We know animals that are relaxed are gonna produce better beef for our consumers, so we make a big effort to do that. For example, our barn staff all have humane handling training. We've been inspected by the Certified Humane Organization. We've even had Dr. Temple Grandin come by last year for a walkthrough of our, of our barn facility, making sure that the cattle were comfortable when they were here. We have very defined health plans that we sit down with our veterinarian to develop to make sure that um, we have the right vaccinations and we're looking out for the right things for our area and for the type of animals that we have. Anytime an animal is treated here it gets tagged and, and written in a book and yeah. then we log all that. This is our heart and soul out here is looking after these animals really. It's become a uh, a ritual in my life that grounds me and I don't need to travel I don't need to do a lot of things my purpose is to look after my cows so they're happy and healthy people say well your husband retired don't you want to retire <laughs> why <laughs> what would I do <laughs> well don't you want to travel yeah I travel every day in my golf cart I'm happy our approach to animal care is all about prevention we really believe that the healthier you can raise a calf from day one and even before. A healthy cow raises a healthy calf and a calf with good colostrum source and uh, good health just ends up being a very productive animal. So it's all about prevention. Animal welfare is about putting your animal in an environment that they feel very safe in and feel very natural in. If they actually need uh, care whether they get sick. It is no different than you and I going to the hospital to, to go get an, a shot of antibiotics. We do the same thing with our, we take them into our hospital. They can head into that facility for a very short amount of time. We will give them the care that they need or perhaps it's even a, a, an assisted calving as I did this morning. Um, we, we run them in, we do what they do and they go right back into their natural environment. These animals are very, very happy where they're at.